You know, I have to admit, I'm only talking about this story because it pertains to Secret of Mana, which was my favorite video game in the entire universe until the release of Breath of the Wild. So, it holds a special place in my heart, and with the Secret of Mana remake on the horizon, I gotta say that even though I'm not the biggest fan of the direction they have taken the remake in terms of its visual presentation, I'm still pretty excited to play it. Uh, obviously, one of the glaring omissions when the game was announced is that it's not coming to Nintendo Switch, which seems baffling considering that the game was exclusively released on the Super Nintendo system, and it re-released on the Super Nintendo Entertainment System Classic Edition. So, yeah, it's always kind of been kind of one of those back catalog games in Nintendo's uh, library that they could call upon as an exclusive. That's obviously changing, and I don't really think that it's a problem the game's coming to other platforms. In fact, I think, uh, they're, I don't think, I don't, I'm not really that big into exclusives in the first place, but Square Enix is not bringing it to Switch. And producer Masuro Oyamata spoke recently with Red Bull about why it's not coming to Switch. Uh, and he said, Development for the title began before the Switch was announced, so it was definitely beyond our expectations to see the level of anticipation for the release on the platform grow this much. In terms of our current circumstances, we are unable to immediately state that this will become available on the Switch, but we hope to continue listening to the various requests from our fans. And this basically sounds like they, one, didn't know about the Switch, two, didn't know the Switch was going to be successful, and really no one knew, uh, and three, uh, they didn't realize how much demand was going to exist for this game to come to Switch, uh, which is interesting to me because once the platform comes out, it, it's kind of one of those things where by the time they announced this Secret of Mana remake, the Switch was already a resounding success. They could have easily said that they were going to bring it to Switch at that point. It would just come at a later date, a la the new Colossus right? Wolfenstein 2 The New Colossus was announced for Switch before the release of the game on other platforms, and all they did was just say, hey, look, it's going to come next year. And if they had said that about Secret of Mana Remake, if they meant, look, yeah, it's coming to PlayStation 4, Vita, whatever, but it'll also arrive on Switch in 2018, I feel like that would have been enough, because that would have been a commitment, and I think in year one of Switch, all of us are understanding that many of these games have been in development before the Switch released, so expecting them to release day and date uh, with all the other titles, like NBA 2K pulled off, and even FIFA 18, even though they did it in a way that I, I'm not really the biggest fan of, uh, I think would have been understandable. I think all of us that own Switches would be like, look, we get it, we, we understand, it's year one, uh, we don't expect any games that were in development before Switch came out. Uh, to be day and date on Switch. Now, year two, year three, obviously at that point, if games are going to come, uh, delays are not going to be acceptable. Uh, but whatever, we'll worry about that if and when it happens. Like if they announce, oh, Call of Duty next year is going to come to Switch, but then they're not going to release it till early 2019, that would obviously be an issue. Despite the fact that Call of Duty games, despite the usually releases, actually have about three years of development time uh, with rotating development teams. But yeah, so let's just look at this on the surface. First off, Secret of Mana is a fantastic game. Now, I have heard that Secret of Mana 3 is actually better. I've just never played it because it's never released outside of Japan. Now, yeah, there's some English fan translations of it and ROMs out there, but I'm not really big into the emulation and ROM scene anymore. Uh, I've talked about this on a podcast before, so I'm not going to get into it now. But I really do want to play Secret of Mana 3. I, I really hope that it comes out uh, to the West at some point, I, even if it's not on, on a Nintendo platform. I just want to experience it, because if it's even half as good as Secret of Mana is, then, uh, yeah, I, I, gotta, I gotta get on that. But I hope that the fact that they're even addressing that it's not coming to Switch, but not outright saying it never will, saying that they can't immediately state it will become available on Switch, to me means maybe they're looking into it becoming available on Switch. And if that's the case, that I mean, I guess I'm just going to have to take that at face value right now. 
Uh, there's definitely nothing going on with this game that wouldn't be able to run with Switch. It's not one of those games that is so visually intensive that they'd have to make major cutbacks to make it run on Switch. That's just not the case. In fact, they could probably run it at 60 FPS. Uh, th there's really no restrictions, or at least there shouldn't be. I don't perceive any, per you know, I'm on the outside looking in. I'm not developing on Switch. But based on the games that have already released on the platform and based on what we have seen of the Secret of Honor remake, I don't foresee there being any issues myself. Uh, so, at this point, you know, I'm going to throw this question out to you. Do you guys even care that Secret of Mana is not on Switch uh, in terms of this remake? Do you want to see it on Switch? Are you, like me, a huge fan of the game that is ready for this remake? And, yeah, you, you just really want to see it happen. Or are you someone that uh, doesn't really care about remakes? I mean, I understand that that crowd does exist. Remakes are not for everyone, but I obviously really want this. I I'm happy it's happening at all. I wish it would come to Nintendo. I'm hoping that they're still considering it. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Rufflejance from Nintendo Prime. If you like this video, you know what to do. And if you dislike the video, hit that dislike button. If you go down to the description below, we're giving away a copy of Super Mario Odyssey this month. Go ahead and check it out. Uh, good luck. I hope I hope I mean I hope all of you win. I, I wish I could buy a copy for everyone, but uh, you know, um, family first. <laughs> Anyways, folks, subscribe for more videos just like this one, and I will catch you in the next one.